Hello friends, before we start with the high frequency response of DGT and MOSFET amplifiers, we need to study the frequency response of low pass RC circuit. Why, why do we need to study this? Reason being, your DGT and MOSFET amplifiers are basically the low pass RC circuit at high frequencies or we can say these amplifiers behave like low pass RC circuit at high frequencies. If you remember your ampli response of the amplifiers is like this and in this region it behaves like low pass circuit and since there are only resistances and the capacitances in VZT and MOSFET amplifiers Therefore, these amplifiers behave like low pass RC circuit. So, for studying the behavior of or for studying the high frequency response of DGT and MOSFET amplifiers, I need to study first the frequency response of RC circuit. Let us see that. This is simple low pass RC circuit. So, let us study the behavior of this circuit. We know if you take a uh, frequency domain the impedance or reactance of the capacitor is 1 by j omega c in frequency domain the ratio of output to input voltage will be the reactance of capacitor divided by sum of 2 how do we get this this is voltage transfer function of the circuit voltage across this branch is what the reactance of this branch divided by sum of 2 multiplied by input. This is what I have. If you talk about output voltage, but it means what I mean to say is the output voltage of this circuit is this. This is the output voltage of this circuit. And if you take ratio of voltage, so you take this in the denominator. That's it. So this is nothing but we can say the voltage, it's not gain for RC circuit, it is simple voltage transfer ratio, but I am just denoting it by AV0, so that is V0 upon V in, that is equal to 1 by 1 plus what J omega RC, which can be written like this, 1 by 1 plus J omega upon 1 by RC, fine. Or this can be written like this, that is, what is this? This can be written like this, 1 by 1 plus J omega upon omega H, where, where omega H is equal to 2 pi FH and that is equal to 1 by RC or this is nothing but FH equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Fine. Let us see, this, this can be further written like this, 1 by 1 plus J 2 pi F by 2 pi FH. This is equal to 1 by 1 plus J F by FH. That's it. This AV can be written in two parts like this AV magnitude will be equal to 1 by 1 plus J or not J magnitude of this will be F by FH whole square and root that is magnitude of denominator uh, and that is angle of this is equal to what minus tangent inverse F by FH say that is angle of this if you draw the variation if you draw the variation of this magnitude and frequency of magnitude and phase angle with frequency AV0 magnitude and phase angle of AV0 say this is F so you can vary frequency F when you vary F from 0 to infinity F is 0 F is FH and F is infinity fine when F is 0 what is magnitude magnitude is 1 what is phase angle? That is 0. Fine. When F is equal to FH, when F is FH, magnitude is 1 by root 2. Fine. Phase angle will be what? Minus 45 degree. Why? Because when F is equal to FH, this is FH. When F is equal to FH, it will be minus tangent inverse 1. And what is tangent inverse 1? 45 degree. So, this angle is minus 45 degree. When 
f is infinity this will be uh, when f is infinity this will be 0 this will be 90 so this is 0 this is minus 90 degree this is the variation of magnitude and phase angle with frequency if you draw this variation if you draw the variation of this av let us take magnitude first or you can take phase angle as well it's your choice or uh, you take frequency and phase angle this is magnitude of av not you can say this is phase angle of av not fine you take uh, angles minus 45 degree angle minus 90 degree why because it is negative so the magnitude a at 0 is equal to 1 at 0 magnitude is 1 fine at f equal to fh this magnitude reduces by how much value if the magnitude reduces by 1 by root 2 that is equal to 0 0.707 so at certain frequency that is f equal to fh the magnitude reduces to 1 by here it is 1 here it is 1 by root 2 that's what I'm, what I'm trying to say and it further reduces at infinity when frequency is infinity it goes to 0 that's what I'm trying to say and you can please see phase angle is initially 0 it becomes minus 45 degree here and goes towards what 90 degree final at if f equal to infinity this is the variation of phase angle like this variation of phase angle of the voltage transfer function of the circuit this variation of magnitude with frequency this variation of magnitude of voltage transfer function with frequency is called frequency response of the rc circuit which circuit this is low pass circuit why low pass because this circuit is allowing the lower frequency it is giving good transfer function good magnitude of the transfer function for low frequency but magnitude starts increase decreasing with increased frequency so higher frequencies will be attenuated attenuated means the signals of higher frequency will be reduced in magnitude the signals of higher frequencies are being attenuated only low frequency signals are being allowed to pass through the circuit that is why we call this circuit that rc circuit as low pass rc circuit your DZT and MOSFET amplifiers behave like low pass RC circuit at high frequencies. Please do remember this analysis. And this frequency now, the frequency at FH magnitude is 1 by root 2 is called upper cutoff frequency of the circuit. So this is known as FH is here that is upper cutoff frequency of the circuit fine so and remember r is nothing but re equivalent resistance or you can say thevenin's equivalent resistance seen across the capacitor just like what we did in case of your low frequency response of bjt and mosfet amplifiers here this resistance will be resistance seen across the capacitor terminals how to find suppose if we just uh, i just draw that circuit this, I am talking about this resistance, this is of course single resistance in this case, this is single resistance in this case, but if you open the terminals of capacitor here, when you open the terminals of capacitor and replace voltage source by short circuit, see this, uh, see the resistance seen across this terminal, that is simply equal to R, this is nothing but this R, fine. We will see it later also when I discuss about the circuits. But remember the response of low pass RC circuit because that is important for studying the analysis or behavior of the BJT and MOSFET amplifiers at high frequencies. Because at high frequencies, BJT and MOSFET amplifiers behave like low pass RC circuit. So now we will uh, switch over to the frequency response of high frequency response of BJT and MOSFET amplifiers now onward. Thank you very much for watching the video.